coming up today, we're going to work on this lattice lace wrap, and that's coming up next. I think I'm gonna be okay. I think I'm gonna be amazed in this beautiful day. Pretty smile. Welcome back to the Crochet Crowd as well as Yarnspracings.com. I'm your host, Mikey. Today we're gonna work on the lattice lace wrap, and this is a pattern compliments of Karen Yarns found on yarnspacings.com. I'll put a link in the more information of this video. Now you should know that this pattern is considered experience but I'm not gonna leave you hanging. We're gonna work step by step and I'm gonna show you. So I really wanted to see what the stitch looked like. The photo to me wasn't really indicating exactly what was happening and so I did a sample and I actually did it on a cruise if you can imagine and basically what it is it's working in boxes just like so. So you see how it's kind of a solid box here and then there's lace work etc. So what happens on this project is that see how it's jetting up and down? Well that's as a result of the pattern the way that the boxes are sitting. It happens naturally. So in actual fact what happens is that when you pull everything apart like so it's actually a straight line going up and down but because it's draping it causes these boxes to form the shape just like so. What I have done for you is that on the crochetcrowd.com and the link in the more information of this video I have my working notes. I was getting distracted on the cruise ship and I thought to myself I need to write down what is happening here and especially what was happening on the edges because what was happening if you really look at my sample is that I've screwed up several lines right in the beginning of the shawl because I kept getting distracted. You know the music, the drinking, the dancing, <laughs> just past passing on by. So what I had to do especially for row, uh, row number seven is that that's where the game changes because it's a halfway point here. And so what happens on the end of it is that you have to do half of these squares and that's what I was screwing up on. So I'm gonna provide a scanned copy of this. This is my working notes. I know it's not pretty but you crocheters can probably figure this out and you can just follow along and once you have this basically this is gonna be a walk in the park. So for today's project I actually used Peyton's Denimi yarn on this but today I'm gonna use Bernat Super Value yarn because I really wanna use solid colors because if it gets into variegated colors like so I know from experience that people get confused on where the stitches are going. So without further ado um, let me get you started and I'm going to be doing a sample that is the size of this but I want you to substitute the information. Oh I should tell you as well this here this is the center line of the repeat pattern so basically it's in multiples and sets of 12. I figured that out and so if you're starting off your first one as long as you go 12, 12 just make sure that when you get to the end of their side so you go 12, 12, 12, 12 until you get to the length you want or you can follow the pattern but make sure that you do add two chains at the end in order to keep everything in balance. Before I begin I'm just gonna be using this chart but I'm actually gonna add one extra in the middle. So I'm gonna do 12, 12 and 12 and then I'm gonna add my two on at the end. So if you're following this along I did this so that I could see the edges on both sides of the actual uh, shawl or wrap whatever you wanna call it. But I'm gonna do uh, three sets of 12 so that I can show you the end. I can show you what the middle looks like and what the other side looks like without any problems at all. Once we get to a certain level in this once you get to level number nine or row number nine the pattern then begins to repeat itself from two to nine all the way through. So I'm going to just start now and let's grab our yarn okay and I'm going to using Bernat Super Value. I'm using a size six millimeter hook. That's what it's calling for in the pattern as well. If you're doing the pattern you're gonna wanna change 74 but if you wanna change anything if you wanna make this into a shawl of a different size a wrap of a different size an afghan it's cool. You could just make sure you keep in sets of 12. So I'm gonna do that. So you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven and twelve and please if you're doing the pattern go to seventy four. If you're just doing in sets of twelve just continue to do twelve and I'll meet you in back in just a second. For those of you that are doing this in sets of twelve at the very end so you're gonna go twelve, 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 twelve until you're deciding that it's enough and then please add two. If you are working from the pattern please just do your seventy four as it's calling for. So let's uh, begin to do this pattern and we're gonna work on row one together. In row number one we're going to be starting and basically just visualize this as a quarter of the diamond shape. So you see a diamond here. I know it's really rough to see that but what you're doing is that you can see that it's going up on an angle and down just like so. So it's like a quarter of a diamond and so when we're working on this we're gonna be starting at the very biggest part of the diamond uh, right in the middle point and you're gonna see that every time in the middle part of the diamond there's gonna always be seven stitches across. The one we go to work on the middle part. So like this is the next middle up here and middle here it's always in seven. So let's uh, begin right now. 
To begin what I need you to do is go second chain from the hook so you count back one and two. Turn the stitch or the uh, chain over and get the back loop only, the back hump and just single crochet. And I want you to single crochet into the next three chains as well. So just continuing on the back side only. You have a more beautiful edge if you do it on the back versus any other way of doing it. So that was one and then we have two and three. So technically now you have a total of four single crochets at the very beginning of this. Now we're going to chain seven. So we're gonna do a whole jumping of a lot of stitches right now. So we're gonna just chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And looking back at the chart, what we need to do is that we need to skip a total of five stitches on the bottom. So that five skipping is what makes it jet up when it's actually draping. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. Go to the six and I want you to single crochet into the next seven. So just one and two, three, four, five, six and seven. So now we're at the halfway point in the middle of my sample. So we got one in there just like so. See how it's flat? It's not gonna stay like that. It's gonna jut up. So then we're gonna repeat that again. So we're gonna chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I want you to skip another five. So one, two, three, four, five. And go down to the sixth one and do another seven. Seven single crochets. So two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Where is my seven? It's right there. So if your uh, project is much bigger because this is just a sample, you're going to continue that same pattern of chaining seven, skipping five, chaining seven, skipping five. So now what happens when you get to the very edge piece? What we need to do is that we need to honor that whole idea that we need to chain seven. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and this time we're only gonna do four single crochets. So we're gonna skip one, two, three, four, five and go to the six and if your math is right you should only have four stitches left at the very end. This pattern is kind of flexible if you are screwing up in any way but prefer you not to at this point. <laughs> not when you're just getting started. So that would be how you would finish off then row number one. So this is what it looks like at this point. So let's turn our work and I'm going to show you a cheating technique because it really doesn't matter but um, it says to crochet into stitches but you really don't need to. You can if you want to but this is more of a personal choice. You will speed up if you don't have to worry about that. So you're gonna start off and you're gonna chain one first. So this is row number two and you're only going to single crochet into the first three so that there will be a leftover one that you will not touch. So it'll be one single crochet to the first one, one single crochet for second, and one single crochet for third. So now what we're going to do is that we're going to establish the very bottom of the diamond that is gonna appear right above here, above here, and above on the outside. So in order to do that we have to chain five. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five and you can crochet into the middle of the seven stitches which would be the third one in or third one in but what I would do is just go around the whole thing and just single crochet it. See, you don't have to count, it's perfect. So now what you wanna do is you wanna chain another five. So one, two, three, four, and five. So what we need to pay attention is that we want to start getting narrow. So this is an actually a diamond here and it's gonna start peaking up like a pyramid. So what we have to do is we have to skip the first one and the very last one leaving that there's only five single crochets into the middle of these diamonds that we're gonna get smaller. So, so this is where it can get confusing. So we've just done our five and we basically have seven single crochets right here. So we have to skip the first one and we have to play with the second and third, fourth, fifth, and sixth and we leave the seventh alone. What we need to really pay attention is that we only have to play within the uh, within five. Do you see how we just chained five? We're only gonna do five here. 
if that makes any sense on this row. So we're automatically going to skip the first one and just go to the second one in and single crochet for only five. So that was one and let me get two, three, four and five. So that means that the last stitch has been left empty and that's what we want. So we're now in the middle of our project. So if you're in the middles you're just gonna continue to repeat the pattern. So you're just gonna chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Single crochet just around this whole thing, around the whole chain of seven that you did and then just chain another five. So one, two, three, four and five. Continuing along you have another group of seven but you're gonna skip that first one and just immediately just start single crocheting into the next one. So you skip that first one, go for the next and you're only gonna single crochet for five times. So this is two, three, four and five. So that means that that's, that last one here is not touched which is what we're looking for. So now we're going for the edge. So you're, if you're doing the middle of the pattern you continue that same pattern of chaining your fives. You're getting it into the middle and then making sure that you only do five here. So let's uh, do an edge. What does an edge look like here? So we're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five and we're gonna go in the chain as normal. So just single crochet around the chain and then one, two, three, four, five and you're gonna just skip that first one and just do the final three. If you remember at the start of this row we only single crocheted into the first three. So this time we're only finishing with the first three to keep this project in balance. So this is what it looks like at this point. So you have these diamonds that are finishing and these diamonds that are starting. Let's begin row number three and we're gonna turn our work. This is where it gets kind of fun. So this is where we're gonna start playing in more chains and start decreasing even more into the diamonds. So let's begin. We're going to chain up one first and in row number three we're only going to single crochet the first two. Okay, so the last one we did the first three but we're getting narrower because this is a quarter of a diamond and so we're only gonna single crochet in the first two. Now what is true though is that that chaining of five is still the same. So we're still gonna continue to chain five. One, two, three, four, five and what's happening here is that we're getting smaller here so it's pulling back and this here is going to get bigger because this is the start of the new diamond. So what you're going to do is that you're going to single crochet around this chain close to this middle spot. So just go around the entire chain close to it and I want you to single crochet that single crochet right in the middle. Okay and then I want you to single crochet around this side of the chain you see that? So basically you've just put in three here so this one has now turned into three and the diamond is now on the way. We're now going to chain five again. So one, two, three, four, five. Now this diamond is getting smaller so what we need to do skip that first one and go for the next one. So one, two and three. Now what makes this pattern so easy is that this side we're started the diamond and we're at the three mark. Okay and this one we're getting smaller but we're still at the three mark. So basically every row stays in balance. So when you had the row below you had fives just like so and so basically we were starting on this side. So it just makes sense once you get into these levels of the threes and the fours and the threes again it just stays in balance. If that makes any sense hopefully it does. So it's let's continue. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're in the middle of the section here. So we put one single crochet around the chain on this side. We single crochet the actual single crochet and then we single crochet in the other chain on the other side. Okay, and now let's chain five again. So one, two, three, four and five. Coming on the other side this is where the diamond is getting smaller. So we're gonna skip that first chain going to the second for only three. And two and three. So if you're continuing the same pattern and in, in your size you're just gonna chain your five and then come into the next ones and continue until you get to the end like so. Once you get to the end you're gonna chain five. One, two, three, four and five and just single crochet again on this side of the chain single crochet on the, the actual single crochet from the row below and then single crochet on this side of the chain. So now we're gonna chain five. So one, 
two, three, four, five. We're finishing up. Whoops, I think I dropped one stitch. And basically remember this has three here so we're only gonna go into the final two because this diamond is gonna be getting narrower and narrower. So this is row number three. So just this is what it's looking like now. This diamond is almost done. The one that we have here and this one is almost at the halfway point of getting bigger. So let's uh, continue for row number four. Row number four, just turn our work and this one is an easy one too. They're all easy once you get a hold of this pattern. We're going to chain up one first and we're going to single crochet into the first one only. This diamond is now officially complete. Okay, so you can see it's a quarter diamond and now we're going to chain five. So we're gonna do that magic number of five again. So one, two, three, four and five. This time this diamond is still getting bigger. So we're going to go and crochet in this chain area again. Okay, from the row below. Okay, and then we're going to single crochet these three single crochets that are already there. So one, two, and three. And then single crochet around this chain. So you have a total of five single crochets now completing this diamond. Okay, so does that makes sense. So we've gone from one to three to five. Now we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four and five. This diamond is actually almost finished. This is, we've just completed this diamond over here so therefore this diamond should also be completed and we're going to single crochet right into the center. Okay, we're skipping that first one going to the second and that's the only one we're going to do on that one. So the edge one that you started should give you an indication of where the middle diamond should be and then once you get that one in you just simply chain five again. So one, two, three, four and five. And again we're gonna start up and we're still making this diamond bigger. So we're coming on this side of the chain for one. We're gonna single crochet the three that are in there. One, two and three. And then single crochet around the chain. So you have a total of five. Make sure you are watching these numbers that you are getting your target number. So one, three and five. And now let's chain five again. So one, two, three, four and five. You're now finishing up this diamond. Okay, so it's just right in the middle. So you're skipping the first one going right for the middle one only and then chaining five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that's the repeat pattern going all the way across. For those that are finishing up on the edges you're just gonna continue to go as normal. So one right below or right before because this diamond is still getting bigger. You're going to single crochet the three that are in there. And then to finish up this final then we just chain five. One, two, three, four and five and we immediately then just single crochet into the last single crochet in order to finish that diamond off if that makes any sense to you. So you skip the first one, go to the second and so basically you can see that the diamond, this one's actually finished. You really can't see it yet. Um, that it's finished. This one is nearly at the halfway part and basically it just looks amazing. So when you get that draping these are automatically gonna fall down and the draping is gonna matter, just matter making that look cool. Let's start up with row, the next row which is row number five. Row number five is where I got most confused on my pattern here because we have to start off with all these chains right in the very beginning and we need to chain seven. And what happens with this chain is that it comes up like so and then over but when you do it it just looks like it's just really loose. It's not until you get to the next levels where that starts to make any sense. And so this is basically all these now have just completed to the actual diamond and now in the next row what we're doing is that this is going to create a gap. Okay, that is in the middle just like so. So let's uh, begin to do this one and it, just stick with me. It does make sense. It's just sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> so let's uh, begin now. So you basically there you go. You can see one, two, three, four, five. So that's what we have and so the next one the these lines are gonna come down toward the actual diamonds instead of up just like you see would see like that. So let's begin. We're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six and seven. So just like it shows you on the chart what happens with this is that it eventually turns around and forms up a shape like so. So it does make sense. So what you have here is that we have five now in the diamonds. The diamonds total sizing is always seven. So we're just gonna come on to this side of the chain like so and we're going to single crochet around the next five 
single crochets that are available to you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? And now you're going to crochet on this side of the chain which gives you a total count of seven right in the middle like so. So now this time you're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Do you remember doing that on the main chain? This is exactly what we're doing here. So we're just like in the main chain we did our seven. This is exactly what we're doing. So what we're going to do is just skip this middle diamond that has just uh, left us. We're done with that. We're just gonna come on this side where the next diamond is and just single crochet around that chain. So we totally skip that middle chain. Okay, this middle whole area. And now we're going to single crochet into the next diamonds here. And there will be a total of five there. Okay, so with the chain that we already did in the starting of the diamond, we're also going to do the chain area after the diamond. This chain area right here. And that gives you a total of seven. And now we're going to chain seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And we come on this side of the chain. Okay, so we're skipping this whole diamond here. Coming on this side and just single crochet into this section. So what's happening now is that in this part of the pattern the, the diamonds are starting to shift. So these diamonds in the next rows are gonna start getting smaller and we're gonna start making new diamonds uh, in the next row as well. So make sure you come into this chain for the final. So you're only going to come into this area here and then you're going to chain, so just you have your seven, you're going to chain three, one, two, three. This is where the game plan changes. We are going to treble crochet here so that we can maintain this pattern. So we're gonna treble one and two and coming right down into that single crochet down here and this basically finishes off that line. So you can see how that makes sense, right? These four are going up. It's now gonna start going down. It just doesn't look like it when you start that because it just, the way that we grab it in the next area is going to form that same shape on the other side. So let's turn our work and begin the next row. Okay, let's turn our work and go to the next row and what we're going to do is then we're gonna start making the diamonds into the middle sections here and these diamonds in the middle here that are already existing are gonna start getting smaller. So let's chain up one first and then just single crochet into the beginning chain just like so into where we did. So now what we're going to do is that we're gonna chain our fives again. So we're working on fives once again. One, two, three, four, five. This diamond is gonna start getting smaller so I want you to skip that first stitch and go to the second. And I want you to single crochet all the way across until you get to the one right before the diamond is done. Okay, or a total of five. Whatever is easier for you to visualize. So okay, so I have my five in there. I have one left. I don't wanna touch that and I'm gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Do you remember down in the row here that we just single crocheted around the big chain? That's what we're gonna do again. So just single crochet to start that diamond and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. This diamond is getting smaller so we're gonna skip the next, the first one and just single crochet for the five. For the five single crochets that are there. One, two, oh this one's three, four, and five. And you're gonna skip that last one. You're gonna leave it because the diamond's getting smaller and then chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, just single crochet around this chain seven. We're gonna start that diamond and we're now gonna chain five. One, two, three, four, five. And you're going to skip that first one because this diamond's getting smaller. One, two, three, four, and five. Okay, you're not gonna get that final one. And now what you have to do, this is where this has to make sense to you, is that we have to chain five. So one, two, three, four, and five. And we have to actually single crochet into the fourth one. So one, two, three, and four, and single crochet into that one. Okay, so that was that chain that looked really weird. Now it's gonna start making sense to you here. So basically this diamond is now getting smaller. This diamond's we were finishing but we're now starting another layer and this is what it looks like so far. 
begin, turn our work and move up the next row. So because this diamond that we've already started is starting, we have to make it bigger. So we're gonna chain up one first, single crochet into the first one that's available to you and then single crochet right into this chain space just like so. So now this one just became two on here and now we're gonna chain our five again. So one, two, three, three, four and five. This diamond is still getting smaller so we're gonna skip that first one, go to the second over and only do for three this time. So we did five last time, this one's only three single crochets. Once you have that done, chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now this diamond is already started on the row below so we're going to come on this side of the chain, we're going to single crochet the actual single crochet and then this side of the chain. So this diamond just went from one to three. So let's chain five again. One, two, three, four and five. Okay, this diamond is getting smaller so we're skipping the first one going to the second over for only three. Okay, are you getting a hold of this pattern? Hopefully so. And then one, two, three, four and five. Okay, this diamond is now getting bigger so we're going to come on this side of the chain. We're gonna come on the single crochet itself and then on this side of the chain. Chain five, one, two, three, four and five and now this diamond is getting smaller so we're skipping the first one and we're only doing three. And then for those that are finishing up the line, so you, you can obviously see the repeat pattern. So one, two, three, four, five. This time you are going to single crochet into the actual chain space first. Okay, and then into the final stitch because this side the diamond is getting bigger as well. So that's what it looks like so far. So this diamond is almost complete. You can see it's almost suspended and the other diamonds are uh, are on their way to being made. So let's turn and go again. Start our next row. The repeat pattern is almost here and before you come in, you're starting back down here again because basically see how this diamond is at the halfway. As soon as this diamond is at the halfway basically it's the repeat pattern all the way through and um, this project really is not uh, very time consuming I have to tell you. So we're gonna start off the first one, chain one and this diamond is getting bigger. So that means that we go into the first one we go into the second one that's available to you and we wanna go into the chain space for three. So this diamond has gone from one, two and now it's three and now we chain five. One, two, three, four and five and we immediately just look at this diamond. It's almost done. We just have one stitch left in the middle to complete that diamond so that's where we're gonna go. So you've just skipped the first one, go to the second and now you're ready to chain five again. So one, two, three, four and five and you immediately this diamond is getting bigger so come into the chain space first. You're going to single crochet the three that are there. One, two and three and then single crochet into the space beside it. So then this has gone from one to three to five and then we're chaining uh, five again. So one, two, three, four, five and then here we go. This diamond is getting smaller so we're skipping the first one going to the second and then chaining five. One, two, three, four and five. Okay, going to the one before because it's getting bigger. We're doing the three that are there. So this, this diamond is gonna turn into five single crochets across. Okay, and now we chain five. One, two, three, four and five. And then this diamond is now finished. It's in the middle only. Okay, and then one, two, three, four and five. Okay, on the outside you're going to the space first and then the next two which turns that one into a three. Okay, so this diamond is now completely done. You can see that how it's grabbing and it makes sense in the next one because the next one is the um, next round that you wanna do and that is gonna be the seven. So whenever you're starting, a diamond is actually finished so this is here. This is when that chain seven exists so that it stays by itself. Okay, so if that makes any sense to you because we've been chaining fives but you, you, you will realize that we have been doing the sevens and that's when these um, diamonds are complete. So let's turn our work and move up to the next row. So let's begin. We're going to chain one. This is the last row before the pattern repeats. 
and the pattern repeats on row number two when we started way back down here. Okay, so right when this diamond started, that's when this pattern's restarting itself. So let's begin where you've just chained one and then single crochet into the first four. So one, two, and three, and the fourth one is around this chain space. So this diamond here is at the halfway point. The next rows that we do, when you go to repeat this on row number two, this, this diamond is gonna start getting smaller, okay? So now you're going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you're gonna come on this side of the space way over here and do um, your this is the middle of these diamonds. So you do the first one into the chain and then the next five. Two, three, four, and five and do the one, a space right on the other side. So how I easily remember that is that you had your chain seven here which is the start of the next diamond that will sit directly on top of this. This here there is seven. So it's at the halfway of the diamond so it's an easy way to remember it. And so basically it's all just in sevens. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, jump that whole space to the other side like so and then to the next five. One, two, three, four, and five and immediately then just do the space on the other side so that you have your seven. So there's seven stitches across that one. You're at the middle point of that one. And so when you get to the other side here, we're almost uh, done. So if once you just do the repeat pattern. Once you get to the other side, you are going to chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And just immediately come to the other side. Okay, the, the space before and then the next four. So now it's just a matter of repeating what you already know from rows two to all the way to nine. And basically this is at the halfway mark. This now is at the halfway mark. So when you pull things apart really nicely and it drapes, these are going to look like they're Amazing, right? So this is what we've been doing and even though we've been going straight across, it's the drape that causes that to have a really neat cool effect. So just to reverse yourself back in this video back to row number two to begin and basically you'll pick up, I'm gonna start you off on row number two just so that you're not confused and then I'm gonna leave the rest of this project for you and if you get this done, you know, you need to share this on Facebook because this is a really cool design. So let's begin. We're going to do a repeat of row number two that we've already done over here. This is just to get you started. We're gonna chain up one and we're going to single crochet into the first one but now this diamond is getting smaller. So we've done the first one. We're doing the next one and the next one but we're leaving the fourth one empty because we're getting smaller. We're now going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to start the next diamond and so we're just going to single crochet around that chain seven and then one, two, three, four, five. The diamond is getting smaller so we're gonna skip the first one and going to the second over and we're only gonna do five. One, two, three, four, and five. Chain five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay and then just into this chain space here. like so and then one, two, three, four, five. This diamond is getting smaller. We're skipping that first one. One, two, three, four, and five. We're leaving that last one empty. I'm looking at this here. I'm almost wondering if I did enough chains there. It doesn't look as long as it normally did on this row below. Comparison to that other one. Huh. Who knows? <laughs> you know, if you do make a mistake like that, it's really not that big of a deal. I wouldn't recommend it but it's not that big a deal. So one, two, three, four, and five and again around this space here, it's a new diamond just starting and then one, two, three, four, five and when you're coming to the end, you're going to miss the first one, go to the second and only do the final three. 
So this is how you do the lattice lace wrap and it's a really cool design I have to say and it's really kind of lightweight. It goes really quickly because you're doing a lot of chains and you will find that you can make the most amazing shawls and wraps with this uh, kind of element and once it starts draping you really can see the effect of that it takes when you're doing it. It's actually really really neat. So until next time this is Mikey on behalf of Yarnspirations.com as well as the Crochet Crowd. Stay tuned as we have more free ideas and patterns coming ahead. We'll see ya. Pretty smile. I think I'm gonna